poop. Hey, it's raining. No way. Like really good too. Good morning everybody. This is wedding week for Emily, so everything is about time. We are so pressed for time. Uh, I agreed to do this project to help keep the house going. Uh, the excavator's making us a temporary road through here for our mixer. Right around back. Let me show you what we got going on. I have about two hours and I need to be out of here heading to the wedding venue to start taking everything that we made over there. I'll give you a shot of the garage. I, I videoed some of it. Uh, Emily really didn't want to post any of it, but I think it's, it's kind of funny. Is he chasing me? I think it's kind of funny now that I have everything made, we have everything made. It takes up the entire garage. There's so much stuff made for this wedding. I don't know what we're going to do with it. I know what we're not going to do with it. We're not going to bring it home and put it in my garage. I can tell you that right now. So here is the patio we're doing. Rolled slate, rolled slate texture extension. That way they can get out here and have some seating that's not under cover. This is all wet topsoil, mushy over here. The mixer is never going to make it to this lower patio. So we're either going to power buggy it down this hill, because we'll have the mixer right here. If it's too soft, we'll pull the mixer over there and go down that less steep front side in there and pour that. What's that, 12 and a half, 14 and a half? Yes. So again, rolled slate. Mixer will be here shortly, and we got to go. Everything on deck, ready. Okay, here we go. Mixer's pulling in right now. Or did he pass us up? No, he's making the turn. Excavator cut us in a road. Let's see how it works out. Oh, it's going to be a good day. A little mushy, a little soft. Looking good. Okay. Getting them tied up. This is our rebar coming out of there. We want to get a good tie in here. It's going to crack there. When it does, we don't want it to go anywhere. We'll put a control cut down the center both ways and right there and right there Steve's cutting some rebar oh I wouldn't have done that there all right as soon as they get these cut we're gonna start taking the buggies down our first buggy you're backing down right back down back down if you go forward there's too much weight it'll flip over so he'll back into there spin and right in You're fine. Head right over there. These are like little tanks. They go anywhere. It is pretty steep. Dylan's been doing it now for about three months. Still getting used to it, so one pass and he'll be fine. Don't worry, Dylan's mom. We won't hurt him.
Did we mention Dylan just got engaged? Chairs. Okay, it won't take long. One done, hopefully the hard one, and one to go. We'll get these cleaned out, threw a chute on, here we go. Barrel full of water to clean up in. Up on chairs everywhere, good. Just pour it, don't have to worry about, don't even have to think about anything. Well, too much of anything. That's nice. Grab a rake. Here's the float, Jim. Ready? This is how I like to pour concrete. Almost sitting down, watching. Okay, I got about 45 minutes. Make sure these corners are full. You don't want to leave them empty and have to fill them in later. And if you don't fill them in, well, you got to fill them in. Find a spot for you. Okay, all done. A little bit heavy. We'll do a nice tuck and get it right around that edge. Any leftovers, we'll just lose it right beside it. Give it a shake and a float. Bringing it up all the way to that top. Let the tip of your float ride right on the old concrete, just touching it. Now we know we're nice and flush. Shake. Just a little pat and shake. Just helps even everything out, consolidates that edge. Under attack here. Yeah. Really give it a good shake and a tuck and get get that sealed up behind there. That way water will stay out of there a little bit better and it looks better.
Okay, we are cleaned up and the concrete is going pretty good. We don't want to get on it yet. It's barely sticking to my fingers. Time to edge. See how Steve comes in nice and flat? A rookie mistake is turning that edge your way up. Clean that edge off. Keep it flat. You just want to leave, barely leave an inner line. Okay, I'm going to set the camera up. I got to get on the road. And I will talk to you guys later. Steve, take it home. Hey, it's raining. No way. Like really good too. <laughs> My weather app is saying uh, rain's out of here in like 20 minutes. Matt's saying rain's out of here in nine. And Jim is saying rain is out of here at 11. And we got Tony sitting here waiting on us. Oh geez. Um, well, I'd say just give it a couple little bit and, I mean I checked this morning and there was nothing yeah I told Tony we're going to sit tight for 20 minutes and see what happens is number 2 there yet? no nah, not yet because uh, it does just get covered ok well we don't want it to look bad so alright well, we're, uh, we're going to sit yeah. tight just give it a little bit alright crazy Sounds good. Alright, later. See ya. Yeah, welcome back to uh, Concrete with the Hosses. Or I guess, Hoss at this point. Um, got sent here this morning, Friday morning, uh, the Friday before my sister's wedding, which is why uh, my dad and my brother aren't here. They're helping set up. Um, trying to get this small little slab poured. And uh, what should have been a very easy pour has gone south very quick due to mother nature. Uh, pulled in this morning, it was sprinkling a little bit. I thought no big deal, started getting set up. It started raining pretty good. So uh, first truck's here, second truck is due probably in like five or 10 minutes. So we're just gonna sit tight. Hopefully my weather app is more accurate than Matt and Jim's. And uh, it's gonna be out of here in like five or 10 minutes. That's what we're hoping for. I'll uh, check back in. The rain has led up to a light sprinkle, so we're gonna go ahead and get plastic spread rods in and uh, start pouring. Enjoy.
Okay, so that was the first 10. Uh, truck number two is here. I'm gonna start getting him in just to finish this, uh, finish this off a little bit. Jim's bull floating. These guys did an awesome job raking. Made straight, ed straight edging really easy on that. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and wait till he gets his shoot over, uh, you know, and I'll set the camera up right on the wall. Get a ground, ground level view. Sorry for the camera placement on that last one. I uh, don't have a tripod with me today, but we got this this little slab finished out. Jim's finishing up bull floating. We're gonna get tools cleaned up and loaded up and uh, just kind of hang out, wait to hit this. Okay, so first pass is almost done. We got our tool cuts in. That way nobody has to come back tomorrow to saw cut. Uh, we got a cut, it's a little off-centered, but it hits our drain. And then this one is held back to be center of the pad. Not really sure what's going here, but we just wanna make sure our crack control is good. So uh, we're gonna get second truck finished up up there for first pass, give it a little bit, and then hit it again just to kind of help smooth it out. Got here this morning. It was raining pretty hard, and now the sun is shining. So concrete's going to start setting up real nice. Uh, Matt just filled me in that it was pretty close right now, so a couple more minutes and we'll be back on it. I apologize. I forgot to turn the camera back on when we were finishing it, but Jim here is going to reenact what we just did. <laughs> See how he's keeping that trowel? A little bit of an angle, pushing down, making it real nice and smooth, except for that one spot. <laughs> there. Okay, so, uh, floor's looking good. Uh, cleaned up real nice. Went down, uh, gave it a second pass with our trowels. That just kind of flattens the top out, makes it a little bit smoother, easier to sweep. Now, we don't want to, like, power trowel it or anything like that, because then it becomes too smooth, and if you get a little bit of water on this... There's a floor drain right there, so I'm assuming, and there's also a water pipe there, so I'm assuming there's going to be water in here one way or another. It becomes really slippery. So we went and cleaned up all of our joints as well. Um, I need to get my tennis shoes back on because these are a muddy mess before I get in my truck, and that is going to do it. Uh, pretty early day today, easy day, except for the rain this morning. Uh, everything went good, the pour went good, finishing went good, so... Now it's time to go get set up for a wedding. So I want to thank you guys for tuning back in to another episode of Concrete with the Hosses. If you liked what you saw, please click the like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next job. Don't be late.